Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Amethyst Dreamwitch and today I'm going to be unboxing the September Witch Casket. So this is actually what the caskets come in. And there is also um, Fragile. But this is essentially minus this sticker this is essentially how it arrives a simple black um, recyclable um, parcel package that's it you can't tell from this that it's from which casket other than UK and if you recognize the return address then because you've had them you know you've received plenty of um caskets orders from the online shop you know there's there's a whole host of things um but yeah but this is i mean it does say on it 100% biodegradable so this is this is what witch casket are all about um something else that they do when it comes to let me just flatten that out I know at least one of my cats would probably turn around and try to eat the plastic um but something else that witch casket do that I don't think is as widely known although it is on their website is that for every casket that gets sent out a tree is planted so you know e even if you're a return to you know a, a repeat subscriber like me every month you're planting a tree so this makes nine trees that i planted this year alone plus the 12 from last year, the 12 from the year before. As long as they've been doing it, they've been planting trees for every casket. Um, you, There is a link that you can see on their website for you know, all of that information around the how big the forests are and all of that stuff. Sorry, I've just... <laughs> One of my cats has just gotten comfy next to me, but she's a little darling. She's just being a little weirdo, but it's fine. But let's get into the September witch casket, which is all about candle magic. So this is a really good casket. Um, the October casket theme has already been announced and I am rather excited about it. Um, the theme is divination. So that, that could hold, a, you know, that could contain anything um so i'm really excited for that one but let's have a look at the candle magic thing there we go so on top for the, so the the whole tree thing that's you know a little bit about witch casket they're amazing run by a mother daughter duo love them um but this Apologies for the wobble. Luna decided that she was going to try and come up on my little table because she can hear and smell these. Here she is. Now this is just pure starch. It degrades in water. It's recyclable she's gonna be happy with that now she's gonna sit on my floor and munch it and have fun getting it out of her teeth it keeps her quiet keeps her occupied she's gonna leave me alone for a bit while i get on with looking at the pamphlet for the candle magic september witch casket so that's the the front is always artwork in itself but when you open it, the 
inside literally the other side to the front page is artwork and then next we have a message from the amazing mother-daughter duo which says hello a magical family of witches your September casket is all about candle magic and we hope you will enjoy practicing this ancient form of magic Please read through this pamphlet so you can familiarise yourself with the contents and any safety information. We are, as always, busy preparing next month's casket, and we have so many wonderful magical plans for future months. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email with your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Also, please be sure to tag any social media posts so we can easily find and share them. Each time we're tagged in one of your enchanting creative posts, we can't tell you the appreciation and happiness we feel. You all are so special and important to us, and it means the world to us to know you're happy with what we do. Sending all our love and positive energy to you all. Until the next time, be well, Deb and Ella. So literally, that's the opening pages. After that, although it does say to read through the pamphlet and familiarise yourself, I call it spoilers. So I go through that at the end. Um, on the back is just some social media posts. They pick three um, from Instagram and share them on the back. So that's another little fun thing to get involved with. So doing this now on the windowsill. And I'm going to move the casket to the other side. I hope she stays up there. She's up there. Oh, I like this. This is the artwork. This is the main artwork in the casket. Some books, a key and a couple of candles. Plus on the back of the artwork is the monthly manifestation. Now this is something to fill out, uh, you know, ourselves. I don't purely because I just don't like to. Plus, usually by the time I receive my casket, it's the middle of the month. There isn't usually a new moon. Well, you know, sometimes there is, but at the moment there's no new moons around. So, or not, you know, within a week. Um, so I just don't use the monthly manifestations, but that's my choice. You don't have to do what I do. This artwork is definitely going in the collection of I Need Frames. <laughs> Things I Need Frames for. So, pop that back in there. Next, we have the spell kit. There's always a spell kit. And this month, it's Emotional Healing Candle Ritual. I will go through this at the end. I'm just going to pop that there. Next, we have the pin. Now the back of the pin is the back of the card. It's more artwork. There's artwork literally ev on everything. Um, but this pin, it's like an old fashioned lantern. I think that's pretty. And the candle even has a pentacle on it. That's really pretty. I like that. I don't tend to wear pins, but I will use, I am uh, working on using them for like a little uh, personal bulletin board. So let's have a look at what's in this. A Sapele wood spell candle holder. Mm. So it's in a lovely little bag and I've literally just read that. So it's a decorative and practical aid to spell work. Beautifully designed and crafted spell candle holder made from sapele wood, known for its calming yet powerful magical properties. Lovely. And it's it's a heavy, It's it's got some weight to it. Oh, that's pretty. And then on the back of the info card, more artwork, more candles, candles everywhere. But this is really pretty. Obviously, the silver is where the candle will go, 
and then the design around the outside. Mm. It's literally just been engraved into it. That's really nice. I like that. Really like that. Right, so. Let's see, what's this? This is Purity and Protection Candle. And the other good thing about Witch Casket is they will only use soy wax candles, which is good for me because I can use them to my heart's content. Um, the bog standard cheap and cheerful candles I struggle with because 99 times out of 100 they're made with paraffin wax and it's just not, um, it gives me a headache, a really bad headache. So have to avoid them but this is the please don't jump on that you can smell it yep. fielding and protecting everything the whole setup so luna doesn't cause chaos what are you doing yep mm -hmm. i just smell this Yeah, mm, work out what that is. Um, so it does, oh, it does say. So this is a double colour candle. It's black and white. So the black is for banishing and protection and white can be used for cleansing and purification. It is 100% soy wax. Use this candle during any ritual to purify and protect as you work your magic. So this lovely container had this. So it's all one. Look at that, that's in there. I quite like that. It's different. And the wick was at the top of the white. So. Yes, hello, darling. Yes, I love you too. Would you prefer to go this side of me? She's thinking. I don't know what she's thinking. She's a mad one. She's absolutely mad. Next, we've got a scroll. Um, the scrolls used to have stickers on them as um, like wax seals, and now we have little metal uh, rings to keep things to keep the scroll as tight as possible. This has dressing candles to match your intentions to prepare your candles for magic you can anoint them with essential oils and dress them with herbs to match your intentions when anointing candles rub the oil on the candle towards you to attract and away from you to banish and then there's some suggestions of things to use that's the scrolls are usually I say usually this is um, really good uh, informational so let's re-roll it and see if I can't Nope, not that way. Let's oh, try. Third time's a charm. Luna's gone for a wander. Nope, she's having an itch. Now she's going to go and have a wander. But that's the scroll. Next, we have a box for a ritual candle holder. 
Witch Casket's exclusive ritual candle holder allows you to neatly and safely encircle your ritual candles with magical herbs, crystals, amulets and affirmations to match your desires. So this is the box I just read. So let's see what this looks like. Mm. I quite like this. So obviously the herbs, um, crystals, the amulets, the affirmation can go in the bottom and the candle sits in the middle. And it's like a bell because it's proper, proper metal. So there's that. Ooh. So, what else have we got? What's this bag about? So, this bag is a lovely brown with a candle, but let's see what's in it. Oh, I think it's a candle snuffer. But that's, that's really handy. And the handle. Lovely little stars on it. That's really nice. I like that. I did wonder why that was <laughs> in, in this bag that way. Nice. So, let's see. We have two items left. So... We've got a light brown bag with intentions written on it. Let's see what this is. This has a card in it. This has an info card. <gasps> it's, it's a tool. It's a tool. It's a tool. It's a proper tool. Right, so. Some more artwork on the back of this info card and this is a magical intentions candle carving tool so it says use this magical carving tool to etch sigils representing your intentions into your candles before working your candle magic work mindfully and with intent now personally i would say that you don't it's you know you can you, you don't just have to write a sigil you can also write a person's name if you're doing like a cord cutting or you can um you know you can write a, a, a word on it or a name for healing um but this is what it looks like the handle and then the, the sharp tip comes with protection I really like this. So, that's really nice. I don't know how need to organize uh, something. Um, but the final thing we have is candles, some spell candles. They come in a lovely little box. And on the back it's, it says, these candles can be used as part of any spell or ritual. Use the colour to match your intention. And in this little box, there's black, white and grey. So as we've mentioned earlier, black can be used for brandishing, protection, but also for hex breaking. So if you think you someone's put a hex on you or cursed you, you can use a black candle to help with uh, removing it. Um, you've got a white candle which is for cleansing, purification, but also peace. And white can be used to substitute any other colour. So if you can only, if you only got a white candle and, a, you know, the spell you want to do um, either says you need a red candle 
or you know you'd really like to have a green candle for the spell that you're doing you can use green to substitute which is where i think the uh, intentions writing tool can come in handy because you can then etch the candle with the word so if you're using the blue for healing or for peace or the red for love you know it it widens everything then you can write those words that word into your white candle and then there's also a gray candle which can be used for stability balance and harmony they are proper sized spell candles so black white and gray Okay, and that is it. In the bottom of the box, all there is is the packing peanuts. These lovely things. The 100% starchy things. I'm surprised Luna hasn't has suddenly decided to come running in. She loves the sound of them. She has eaten that other one. The other one is no more. Um, that very quickly disappeared. <laughs> so now i've gone through and looked at them and said what i think let's go through and use the spoilers to repack the box so first we have the ritual candle holder it's the lovely metal thing and the blurb in the pamphlet is the same as what's on what i read on the box so that's always handy next we have the purity and protection 100% soy wax ritual candle this lovely thing and again the blurb on the box the blurb in the pamphlet is the same as what's on the box including the black and white associations uh, colour associations I should say uh, next we have the 100% soy wax spell candles and again the blurb's the same so i'm not going to bother reading it then we've got the uh, spell candle holder this lovely thing and again the blurb's the same as on the card so i'm not going to keep repeating myself make you the same thing over and over and over again next we have the magical candle snuffer so i was right and this has the, uh, the, the blurb, the, the info, is unless your specific spell requires your candle be blown out, be certain not to blow away your spell's energy by ensuring all spell candles are either burned out or snuffed out. So there's that. Then we have the Magical Intentions carving tool and again the blurb in the pamphlet is the same as what's on the info card in this so there's that as well next we have the ritual kit which i will open momentarily the witch's lantern enamel pin this and the blurb is this magical lantern with pentacle candle i don't know if you can tell but that little smudge there is a pentacle. Um, this magical lantern with pentacle candle is just oozing with witchy vibes. This enchanting pin will add magic to any jacket or bag or enhance any wall display. Then we've got dressing candles to match your intention, parchment scroll. This scroll is inscribed with ideas to dress your candles to match your desires. This information can be copied to your grimoire or book of spells or you can simply place the sheet inside your spell book framed. These scrolls can also add splendour to the walls of your home. Now, considering that I personally have been receiving um, a casket since January of 2020, I've got a fair few scrolls. I do not have the wall space to frame them and put them up on my walls. Um, 
but I do have a, a fold a couple of folders where I keep all my um, where I keep these scrolls some like this most like this one will go into my general magic um, collection some if they relate to like kitchen witchery um, things I can do in the kitchen potions I'll put them in in a different folder but I know where they are so there's the scroll and then we've got the candle magic art print which says this stunningly gothic art print was designed exclusively for you by our in-house designer Faye and I love it oh there's three books there's a book at the bottom the book at the bottom I didn't realize there was three books but there's two candles I like that I like that a lot so before I close the casket up completely let's have a look at the emotional healing candle ritual kit so contains all you need to encourage emotional healing and it really does literally the only things the only thing that it wouldn't contain is water it's literally the only thing so let's have a little look see at this lovely ritual kit so we have a couple of herbs a candle so the, i say a couple of herbs it's labeled one and two it's fine though because in both the pamphlet and the instructions they are not only named but next to the name they have the number um next to the name of the herb there is a number so this i believe this is a white floating candle i'm hoping this is soy wax if it is i think it is it feels like it it doesn't feel like paraffin wax candles um so it's a little floating candle and then we've got lavender <laughs> i do not need to be buying lavender anytime soon which is great it's really great and it's definitely lavender it smells like it too i love lavender i have a thing for lavender and oh yes so it doesn't say in the instructions but it does say in the pamphlet that this floating candle is made from 100 percent natural waxes paraffin is not natural it is a byproduct of um like the how petrol diesel etc are made so that it's it's not it's not natural in the sense that soy wax uh coconut wax um are it's it's also a lot cheaper so if you really want good quality candles you might find yourself spending a little bit more than you think so this next one is yarrow flower yarrow but not yarrow flower so yarrow flower in number two and then we've got the instructions fill a bowl with water and all of that good stuff but on the back of this this is the instructions this is all the instructions on one side it's, it's more artwork more artwork and i do like it hello luna hello 
Mm, it's come back. Mm. And there she is. Not on the table. She's currently sniffing the instruction page. She's a good thing, darling. There she is. And now she's loafing. She's loafing. She's happy. So, yes. Instructions. More artwork. And that's it. So, yeah, that is everything for the Emotional Healing Candle Ritual. Everything back in the bag so I know where everything is until I get to put it all in the homes that I have for everything. it but social media but that's it that's everything from the September candle magic witch casket I hope you've enjoyed this if you want to learn anything about the values the ethics the um, you know anything about witch casket at all um, their website will be in the description below. If you want to subscribe yourself and receive one of these lovely boxes every month, you'll find details um, in the description box. And you can subscribe for, uh, through their website. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, as I said, the October casket is all about divination. I'd love divination. I have, I have tarot decks, but then I have a whole collection of oracle decks. Um, I think I calculated about fourteen tarot decks and an awful lot more oracle decks, plus rune sets, um, dice and cards. I've got a whole host of things and some of those were items from past witch caskets um i've got a set of casting stones there's two sets of dice with cards um i've got a set of rune stones um they've got spell cards they've got affirmation cards they've got all sorts it's brilliant um, it's been brilliant getting them. I love each casket. I rave about which casket. Um, if you want to see what past caskets have been like, feel free to to have a browse. But I will be back next week with some magic. I'm going to be making an awful lot of magic. Um, there'll be some informational. Uh, videos thrown in um, but there's plenty of magic coming your way and I hope to see you again next week so stay safe everyone and blessings to you all